it's waiting. I think, I think. Hey. 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 Hi, babe. I'm so sorry. Hey. I'm my phone. Don't even worry about it. I've been getting to know your fans. They're all absolute delights. It's so nice you. to see you. It's nice to see you. How are you? I'm all right. How are you, love? Um, I'm doing all right, honestly. I've just, yeah. yeah, I've just been kind of like, you know, self-isolating in my apartment. Yeah. I'm kind of just, if I go anywhere, it's just in my parents' house, you know, like say yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy time. I was actually just saying to your fans, um, your new single, 50 Feet, it's just, it's literally just dropped, but releasing music at a time like this, it must be such a different experience in terms of promo, performance. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite the experience. I'm, I'm doing like a few, honestly, I think it's kind of cool though, because I get to be really creative. Um, yeah. On a lot of different fronts, like with a lot of different outlets, like it's, we're creating um, with the resources that we can. And I think it just kind of is a cute testament to like artistry and how um, important it is during a time like this and mm -hmm. the ability to do so and to create for a living. I just, I love it. <laughs> You're right. It's like you, you, you're very resourceful. Like artists are. It's the nature of, of the work, and you can draw from whatever's going on. So now we have these totally different kind of stimulus to be drawing from, and you can actually connect, if anything, more with fans. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I have more time, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been. It's been. I've also just kind of been able to tap into different parts of myself as far as like what I what I can share with fans and just kind of them getting a new layer of me and getting to know me through like the start of the live that I've done a few episodes of and yeah again releasing these songs which are like the beginning of the new chapter of my life as far as music goes um and getting to share that I think is just that's what I do so getting to do it in a time when people are have, have the time to like absorb it maybe yeah so maybe otherwise would have been more busy or um people who are still busy right now and who are you know in in a state of fear or whatever like i just i like to be able to make music that they can just kind of escape with or listen to and feel you know yeah yeah i feel like music i mean it means different things for all of us at different times but right now it's really really important for people as like a therapy quite a lot of the time what's been yeah. getting you through isolation what's been making you feel positive and keeping your spirits up um, I've been doing a lot of like meditation. Uh, I've been stretching and working out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been important. taking care of my bo body. Like I've yeah. been like, trying to to get that whole mind, body, soul aligned. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I talk about healthy it, body, like, healthy mind. Yeah, and then that that healthy soul too. Like keeping like yeah. my ground on where I stand on things, you know, and doing what I can. Yeah, you know what? Dancing makes me so happy, and I found that that's the best way to stay fit in the house. But I only just found out yesterday that it's been really annoying. I live in a flat. It's been really annoying. Is that <laughs> everyone stressed. around you? They were like, "We can hear you." The walls in my apartment are paper thin. Like, yeah, paper thin. I can hear like these people arguing over here, they, and I know they hear my music because like when it gets too loud, it, I get a quick little sharp bang on the door, you know. And I'm just like. Yeah. Oh. Especially when I'm singing, I'm like, oh, that's embarrassing. Like, I really was not trying to have anyone hear me sing right now. And you sing a lot in the like, house. Are you always singing in the house? Oh, I sing all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you finding it easy enough to be creative in this time? I know a lot of people are coming across, like, stumbling blocks just because it's quite an anxious time for a lot of us. Yeah. I, I mean, I respect everyone and how they are personally, like, dealing with everything. You know what I mean? There's no right or wrong way to be dealing with yeah. what... We're going through a collective trauma, you know, different yeah. people activate in different ways. Um, but I personally, like, I've been really creative and, like, just working on my discipline and, like, reading and just kind of, like, getting into in tune with myself mm -hmm. um, is kind of my main focus. And so I'm just, like, focused on that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I've been really creative, actually. I've been getting all my songs together for my album, getting them like kind of narrowed down and detailed out, fleshed out, you know? For your fans watching right now, because I know this, they're, they're watching from all over the world, they were saying like, I'm in Colombia, I'm in Brazil, everywhere, Poland. Um, do you have any tips for getting through isolation, for trying to stay sane, to trying to protect, you know, your mental health and your, your, your spiritual health? Uh, yeah, I mean, 
it, it all depends. There's so many different tools that you can use. Um, I think one that helps me a lot uh, is the meditation, like working on that and trying to focus in on doing that as often, if not every day, as often as possible, if not every day. Yeah. You know? um, definitely for me, like getting some sun is important. Like not oh, necessarily that's like so being outside and mm. in a like public setting or anything, but like going to the backyard and getting sun is like really important for me just to keep like vitamin D on my skin and like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's why, I've, um, huge reason why I moved back to Miami was because of the weather and the sun, you know? Um, so, yeah. So are you, are you with your family throughout this? Are you able to be connected with them and, and see them and have that contact? Yeah, well, my grandpas are like in their own personal isolation. Like, okay. they're, they're not, um, we're not like kind of interacting with them too much. I mean, not physically, like we FaceTime them and call them, they call me every day, you know what I mean? Like we talk, but, um, but yeah, my parents and my brother and sister are home from college as well, because, you know, school's canceled yeah. for the rest of the year. <laughs> my brother's a senior and my sister's a freshman, so they missed their like senior and freshman year. <laughs> I don't know if it would be good or bad, I don't know how I'd feel about that at the time. I'd be like, yeah, right, I, but... I, mean, I didn't go to college, so I can't attest to the feelings. I, yeah. I, I can attest to the FOMO, though, that I felt not going to college, so I can assume that that's, that's it. <laughs> so, but was... yeah, we, we, we're able to, like, um, see each other, because they live really close to me, and we just kind of, that's like, we're, we're just seeing each other, you know? Yeah. No, I was, I was just watching your, your video for 50 Feet, and I was just thinking, like, it, you probably didn't know this at the time because of when it was filmed, but you, it, it celebrates family, you know? It celebrates friends, it celebrates home, all these things that we kind of... We don't it celebrate even realize. It's warm. Yeah. We don't even realize that these are, are privileges until they're taken away from us. Um, it's, it's interesting, right? That we have to have something so beautiful taken away for us to realize yeah. how important and necessary it is. And actually, right? how it's actually the only thing that's important. Because we're at this time right now where everything's on a halt, in a halt, right? Yeah. And, halt. and we are forced to observe the systems at play and forced to observe what they actually how they actually feel about their workforce you know what i mean mm -hmm. and, like, and about their citizens and i feel like that whole situation is just very eye-opening and very aligning and kind of getting in touch with what's really going on and yeah how we can navigate that you know yeah um we were just talking about um the music that you're you're playing and and the books that you're reading and what what artists are helping get you through at the moment um, I've, list I've been listening to a lot of, like, old school stuff. Mm, like, nice. last night I went through a lot of, like, there's, like, oldies, like, Bob Marley and, like, Miles Davis and Aretha and The Doors and Fleetwood Mac. Like, I just went nice. down to the lane. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, I'm here for that. Yeah. And then, so I've been listening to a lot of that. I listen to a lot of Janae. Um... Janae Aiko's new album, yeah. Chigumbo, is incredible. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I've been, um, I st I'm still listening to Summer Walker's record. I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, a lot of, like, James Blake. Very calming energy. Yeah. Nice, nice. I think that it's, it's no, it's important. And it's, um, it's also nice, sometimes I just need to, like, ask someone and then it gives you ideas and you think actually why did like why did I not think to listen to that album because they slip your mind there's so much out there but now is a really good time to focus in I guess a part of staying positive as well is to look to the future do you have anything in particular you're like looking forward to on the other side I want to tour yeah <laughs> I bet a lot of people watching right now would like you to tour as well yeah I'm excited to actually like drop full-on music and have people have an album for me and be able to kind of like explore that deeper um, and especially connect with my fans. Like, cause I, what I'm also noticing is I'm, as I'm releasing music is that I have a beautiful like global fan base. It's, yeah, you do. Yeah, it's really international. And there's a lot of people around the world who are interested in what I have to say and um, what I'm singing and my voice and my art, you know? So I'm excited to like explore the world and meet those people and connect yeah. with those people. And, thing for them you know I'm really yeah. excited about and explore their homes you know I'm really yeah. excited well you, you're able to connect with them I saw on Sundays you're doing attunement on your Instagram 
I'm sorry? On Sundays you do attunement on your Instagram. Yeah. Just talk yeah. me through a little bit what that is and, and how you're connecting with fans that way. Yeah, so I had always had this kind of idea because a huge part of me as a person is kind of my spirituality and just my connection with spirit and my growth towards my higher self. Like I feel like that's kind of been my whole journey um and battle through this through this like industry which is so the opposite of like soul enriching <laughs> sometimes i think that that's been my main mission is to make sure that i i keep myself find myself and grow towards myself yeah so um that's been something that i've always been really passionate about and i feel like this this is a perfect time for me to like share that and my journey with that healing and how like just different honestly all i'm doing is just sharing different little healing techniques tools modes modalities that i've like gone through and learned through and are like tools in my toolbox that help me feel better yeah and that have helped me come to a place of equilibrium because i also have suffered from like anxiety and depression and all kinds of you know the feelings and voices and things that just don't feel right you know and i um i feel like i've grown a lot out of that and also I'm always growing towards get, being better you know so I think that now is a perfect time to share that with people who feel like they're going through the same thing and happen to like watch what I do you know yeah. if, if you happen to be able to tune in and you happen to be able to care or want to know more about like just ways you can help heal yourself and find yourself um that's what I'm talking about <laughs> Well, loads of your fans have been watching and getting in touch, and I'm trying to like keep up with all of these questions. There's so many. Um, I'm going to go with this one first. Remember, you can just leave questions in the comments below. I'm going to go with this one first from Rita. It says, um, I know that writing an album takes a lot of time, and during those months, you go through a lot of feelings, a lot of stages. How do you manage to organize everything into a final project? That is a great question. Good question, that's isn't it? Yeah, that's a really good question. <laughs> yeah. uh, so past like two and a half years almost that I've been writing has been like they, like they said, like a journey and a process of getting to know myself, kind of releasing layers of myself. <laughs> and I will say there's songs that I've written that I don't even like resonate with anymore. It's just like, I got them out when, when I had to get them out. And then that's like what it was. And it doesn't necessarily need to be shared or it doesn't necessarily need to be part of where I'm at now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I've, I've had a, quite a few little growth moments, but then also a lot of those songs are like really special to me and really relevant to the story, I feel like. And when I say story, I simply mean like my own journey, you know, like, and I think that that's kind of all I want to give as an artist is like my own experiences and the honesty of that. Yeah. Because that's all I can get. Like, that's what art is, is like, to me, is like expressing what your soul's feeling at the time. Mm -hmm. and sometimes it'll still resonate with how your soul feels when you release it and then sometimes it won't so I have songs that really do resonate and I have songs that don't fit with those that resonate and have to go in another kind of se section and it's just like I, I have little posters and I just write down all the songs and kind of try to group them properly yeah well because we're human right we're in flux and in motion we're constantly like changing and evolving we're dynamic so there's no reason that something you felt at this one point would necessarily still stand like two years down the line. Sometimes it takes a long time to write an album. There's all sorts of moving parts. Um, I like I this question. Some of the best albums that there ever were, people, like the artists really took their time with them. Yeah, yeah. And that's not to say there aren't also a bunch of really incredible albums that, you know, people just popped out like quick, like. <laughs> but, yeah. but some of my favorite artists have really, like they take their time with their shit. They, they, they're curating their heart. Mm -hmm. I think there'll be a lot of quarantine babies come out. Like, not just babies, but, like, artistic babies. Like, a lot artistic of albums. Artistic babies. Okay, I was like, girl, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably that, too. Probably that, too, though. I stand by that. But also, like, creative babies. No babies over here. I will be touring. I will be single. Like, um, no... No babies. <laughs> I got a question from um, someone called uh, Unaspecific. He says, what did your parents tell you when you asked them to participate in the 50 Feet music video? So at first, my mom was like, absolutely not. <laughs> like, no. I don't want a bunch of fucking strangers in my home. It's not happening. Because she's very energy-based energy and stuff. I was like, mom, sure. this has to happen. It's important. <laughs> I watch it in my video. We have to capture us. We have to capture this space. Like, just 
it's like a little for me it's like a time capsule of just everyone that means a lot to me in the space that raised me you know what i mean i think that that's like the most important thing to me um in the world well one of the most important things to me in the world so like to capture it in like a little video where i'm talking about keeping my energy safe and protected like i think really i love it and i'm glad that she finally gave in yeah like, all right fine no it's good the thing is with mums often you'd be like come on they're like no 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 and then they do it and they're like actually uh-huh mm-hmm. actually i'm done <laughs> I'm fabulous. Yeah. yeah, she got her makeup done. Of course. Do everybody get their makeup done? Nice. Um, I have got a lot of questions coming in from various people asking about quite specific artists whether you collaborate with them, but I'll just kind of round them into one. Which artists would you love to collaborate with? I know it's a question you get asked all the time, but there's lots of good ones out there. Saying it, opportunities to manifest, right? Um, yeah, exactly. I love James Blake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would love to do a song with Janae. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Yeah. I think it would be really beautiful. Yeah. Um and just shooting for the stars, like Kendrick Lamar. Say it, you know, put it in the universe. Yeah, I think he just has such an incredible pen and I would and musicality, understanding of music is just like so he's a legend. Yeah. And such an inspiration to me. So I think I would one day. One day we're going to grow there. You've said it now. I, I Maybe he'll see this. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I, I think we're running out of time. And I'm so sorry because there's so, literally there's so many questions coming in. Oh, man. I wish I could. I wish I could ask you all. Is there anything but you would like to say to your fans right here, right now, anything that maybe they don't know about you or anything that you're feeling right now towards them, especially in this time? Anything they don't know about me? Not that I haven't wanted to share. Mm -hmm. um, I think, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to tell them. I love you. That I can tell you. Sometimes I think that's all that's all anyone needs to hear. Yeah, oh, they know I like, that already though. I like this question from Kay. Would you ever consider writing a poetry book? Because music is so often poetry. Yeah, I I have definitely um yeah, I have a lot of poetry. Yeah. Was is yeah. that something that you'd put on paper and publish? I have a bunch of it already on paper because I usually write yeah. poems. Um, and then I have, I have a couple, I have a couple ideas. Okay. They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. Uh, another thing that a lot of fans are asking about whether it's coming, loads of questions about an album and an album name. What can we look mm -hmm. forward to? What can we expect? Well, the album will be coming this year. I have yeah. the name already, but I'm not going to tell you because... <laughs> what? Not yet. You and Fine. I, I know you feel me. It's okay. I'll tell you like later. No, yeah, it's not. coming okay. out. Off Great. the record. <laughs> this year. Yeah, that's my ideal goal. Like, obviously, we're in quarantine, so mm -hmm. it's kind of, it takes, it takes having to, like, talk to people and coordinate people's schedules while they're in the middle of having to deal with a, a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, but I am definitely, like, I'm personally working on, like, getting all the lyrics right, figure like knowing what I want to do to each song so that I can just knock it out yeah and then off the back of an album a tour of course of course obvio 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 si have you seen estaba hablando en español antes pero ah si tu hablas español un poco si no he practicado mucho tiempo ok donde lo aprendiste Mm, en la uni universidad y la vivía universidad. en Buenos Aires, en Argentina, un año. Oh, wow. Ok. Sí. ¿Hiciste como un programa de intercambio? Sí, un poco como eso. Okay. Anyway, um, on that note. <laughs> no. Hey, fans. Just showing off now in front of your fans. I see you. Uh, it's been so <laughs> lovely to speak to you. Um, thank you so much. We're looking forward to the album, the poetry book, which someone has called their new Bible. So I'm here for it. Um, there we are. And the tour eventually. But just look after yourself. Stay safe. Thank you. Um, you too, I man. hope your quarantine's okay. Mwah. Thank you so Mwah. much. Muchas gracias. Thank you for having me. Chao.
Tchau.